got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. Ah, so I need, uh, I need this done. I need you to go here. I need you to do this. Is that? I need, I need you to go check this venue out. I need you to go, uh, go down to Broad Street. Go pick up the tickets. When, 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 when the trenches, when it, when the, when the, when it's, when it's about the trenches, all them, all them. When you see the flyers and the tickets and all that, and they post it, it ain't no street team doing that. That's me. Mm. I go down there. I go down there. Go buy the ticket. I go, go get the tickets. If, if, if he don't send me the money, I go, I go, I go buy it here. Send it to me later. But how I go get the tickets? I go get the tickets, the flyers, the media passes, passes, and I go post them up around the city by myself. So Where's it was so basically it Where, wasn't like a whole like he don't got the whole unit moving with him. Like where's his best friends at? If that's, that's what he's saying, saying, like he's like where's his, his team at? And everybody. Oh hell no! So now you want me, you want to get the light in battle rap for being my man. You want me to put you in the position. Now you turning around and asking me to pay you for the position that I just put you in? I don't negotiate with terrorists. I don't negotiate with terrorists. I get that motherfucker a look. And you better freeze like a motherfucker. Like, how you my brother, you ask me about money. I said, huh? This ain't about money. It's technically not about money. Even though you, even though, even though I'm trying to get money, the whole thing is I'm your brother. You sending me one hundred twenty-five dollars, nigga, like I'm a crumb, like I'm a turkey. Yeah, that, 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 geez, that, that, one hundred twenty-five dollars. I piss out one hundred twenty-five dollars. I ain't gonna you, lie, for that work. Play with somebody five? like that, Americans. Mm. You in battle rap until I brought you in, and that's what I said to him. But I didn't lie to the nigga though. It's just sometimes when that's your friend, you gotta tell him the truth. I ain't got no money. That money you be seeing me with on Instagrams, that be fake money, man. That be prop money. That it's the truth. It might sound harsh, but keep it a dollar. Y'all didn't know. Y'all didn't know. Um, y'all didn't know highs before he came into battle rap. Keep it a dollar. Maybe a few of y'all. Mac Miller, I got five kids. I got, I got five yeah. kids. I got to oh, I'm provide for my five kids. Why all that? When I leave my folks, I'm not coming back with no money from Battle Rap. Mm. Name of the cards that we wanted for the card to be the easy and read. Everybody's brainstorming. We got like 15 names. Brenda, Letitia, Linda, Felicia, Dawn, LaShawn, Inez, and Delicia. Back up. Yo, whoa, whoa. You already know what it is, man. Salute to every single one of y'all. Shout out to the subscribers. That notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vida underscore Fly. Tell your mama I say hi. Shout out to my brother, Showtime SP, and everybody who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. All right, so this is the crash out chronicles you know what i'm saying i definitely had a lot of time to watch easy to block captains live stream it was long muslim poppies live streams they were long it's like two three hours of them going through all of this so it's going to be in two parts the crash out chronicles i'm going to talk about everything from muslim poppies live stream and everything that i've seen in easy to block captains live stream they were going in on each other in both ways and i do have ways that i feel about both you know what i'm saying i'm a neutral party i don't really communicate with either unless it's about business or you know i spoke to easy hosted his event the trenches event that he had him versus john john the dine you know what i'm saying i've seen muslim poppy a couple times and you know what i'm saying it is what it is so i really don't have no dog in the fight but i do have a lot to say and i want to break it down and i know since you pressed play you are here to hear what i have to say right so um when i take it back a couple steps i'm watching muslim poppy's live i've seen everything that he said we'll make that part two of this you know what i'm saying like the about halfway through you'll see everything that i had to say about that i watched easy the black captains live and there are some things that i feel like he did wrong there are things that i feel like muslim poppy did wrong and i definitely took notes so here's the deal um what it looks like to me you know what i'm saying they met on instagram this is wild first of all you guys met on Instagram, he DM'd you, you know what I'm saying, Easy to Block Captain was popping at the time, you know what I'm saying, he had all the battles, he was he was coming up, he was doing the motherfucking thing, he was running with the game, right? So so Easy's making his power run through battle rap, you know what I'm saying, he's beating everybody, he got Rex on the menu, this person, that person, everybody's reaching out, you know what I'm saying, trying to holler at you, 
get near you, get involved. You want to be a boss, all you got to do is get in with me, right? So easy is just racking up everybody, you know what I'm saying? A lot of yes men along the way, I'm not going to lie. When you get into a position of power, you have influence. Influence has people do things that they normally would not do because they are chasing the light and the fame of what you got. He met you because you were easy the block captain, right? Cool. So y'all click up, y'all get together, y'all start running around, y'all start making moves, right? He's making moves with you, you're making moves with him. We're seeing you guys closely associated with each other, right? So, these guys start closely getting associated with each other. They start hanging out, they start running around. Muslim Poppy starts taking on all of Easy to Block Captain's beefs for him. This nigga was a voluntary crash dummy. Now, I'm not mad that a nigga you, because I've said this and I'm gonna say it in part two. You are only useful as long as you can be used. And once you don't become useful, you become useless. These are quotes and I haven't even used any of my notes yet, right? So, Easy found a sucker. Not saying Muslim Poppy's a sucker, but I'm saying he did a move. P.T. Barnum, a sucker is created every day. You know what I'm saying? So, you were the sucker. You fell right into it. You were the crash dummy. You were willing to do things that people were not willing to do. You even got quoted by Easy as saying, I will die for you. Let me Somebody told a lie one day. Let me tell you something, my nigga. Come on in. Let me, let me holler at you, bro. Come on, Muslim. Let me holler at you, my nigga. If it ain't your kids or it ain't your wife, don't be dying for no motherfuckers out here. I'm be honest with you. If I'm riding with you, I'm riding with you. But there ain't no way in hell another man should be able to tell you that he that you told him that you was willing to die for him. I wouldn't even tell SP no shit like that. And that's my brother. Now if it came down to it and it was going down, we same place, same time, it go down, it go down. But I'm not going to outwardly go out my way and tell somebody like you was telling him that for his loyalty or for him to click with you, like to be more of a friend to you, I will die for you. That shit is crazy, right? So, um, you know, you guys start running around, start making all these moves and shit. That nigga, easy, you had that nigga doing a lot. If he was doing all of this shit. The nigga said he was hosting events, picking up flyers, running security, judging battles, recorded your bars on I-95 freestyle. Uh, he made the damn, the, 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 the shit when you left gun titles, the, he's making fucking, he's doing your PR. Uh, the nigga's talking about he, he cooking for the squad and, and he keeping secrets for you too. When you know what I'm saying? The shit that happened, y'all niggas went up there. He's keeping all this shit. The clean jaw. He's doing all this shit for you. You're not paying him, right? Now, easy is saying that he didn't pay the nigga because you're responsible for his success. Now, here's the deal. I want I want to stop right quick. I do appreciate and respect the fact that Easy gave myself and Charlie Clips credit as the niggas. If he was to pay someone, he would pay someone like Clips or like myself. I'm gonna pay somebody, I'm gonna go pay a Charlie Clips because I know his name Carrie. I'm gonna go pay Vada. I'm gonna go pay niggas that I know that's going to bring the people there. I'm not about to bring, about to pay some. We bring, when, there ain't nobody who's ever booked me and SP for a pay-per-view who didn't make bread, you know what I'm saying? You going you gonna get it. That's why I charge what I charge because I bring in. You know what I'm saying? When I ain't been in no, I ain't been in no fucking empty venues yet. Now, I've been on some good cars too. Blessings and blessings. You know what I'm saying? I've been on some really good cars. But let's keep it moving. So, uh, he said that uh, Easy said he called it a clout chase for two years. He said that people said that the rumor is that he falls out with everybody that he hangs around. Me being a nigga that's on the inside of the industry, I would consider myself because I get a lot of information. I hear a lot of things. Do I hear this? Yes. Easy. I do hear you fall out with a lot of people that you rock with. We did see the Rosenberg Raw shit. You know what I'm saying? We seen you fall out with URL. We seen you fall out with gun titles. You know what I'm saying? So you had some falling outs with niggas. I'm just saying I ain't got no dog in the fight whether wrong or it's right. We just speak the truth. Whether it be the truth, be the proof. So, um, he's David. They was giving him a label for this. So, the nigga says he met the Muslim Poppy nigga at the Bel Air shoot. Now, Muslim Poppy, I need to ask you this, my nigga. <laughs> Did you think a nigga that you met on a movie shoot? And I heard you saying you joined that you have five kids. That's really a lot of the reason why I'm making this, right? So, they really fell out. Basically, the long story short is they fell out because he felt like he was entitled or wanted to be a part of the money making operation. Now, here's the thing. You know, Easy is feeling like he's only popular in battle rap because I put you on and I'm responsible for your success. Now, that while that may be true, you have to realize this. If a nigga running around with you, he making moves, he running through cities, and you making bread, and he got a wife, and he got kids, they gonna be expecting that nigga to come back with something. Good, good, good. How you feel? Chill it. Good. You got that money for me, man? I gotta make moves. Yeah, I got it. I ain't, but not all of it, yo. What you mean? You ain't finished? I got robbed, yo. 
The fuck you mean you got robbed, man? Who robbed you? You gonna let another man take your shit, B? You done lost your privilege of getting any money, man, until you show me where that man is at. Until you find that man, you dead up here, man. You dead, man. All right? You hear what the fuck I'm saying, man? Now get the fuck off my stoop, man. Go ahead, man. Go find that man, nigga. Go this way, man. Hey, my man, go this way, man. Go that way, man. You know what I'm saying? I can't take SP out of his crib, have him run to a different state and doing all this other shit. He got kids and a woman at home and he go back home with no bread. She gonna be like, what the fuck? Like, why are you out there with this nigga? You know what I'm saying? So... ...into that boy. <laughs> I didn't do nothing to that boy. <laughs> what happened to that boy? What happened to that boy? I didn't. I didn't do nothing to that boy. What happened to that In that regard, Especially if it's a nigga who's putting in work for you, you should have definitely found a way. Especially a nigga that's your Uda. If he ever put a gun on him for me, you know what I'm saying? Now, you saying that you ain't need him to, you ain't ask him to. But as your man, if a nigga's willing to make a play for you like that, that shit, like, what I hear y'all talking about and the shit that y'all putting out there, who paid for this, who paid for that, who paid for the plane ticket, who took who to Baltimore and Tampa Bay, and that shit shouldn't even, it shouldn't even be nothing. You know what I'm saying? If y'all niggas ain't fucking with each other, y'all should be able to go y'all separate ways. Y'all only knew each other for two years. Now, I know he's doing the internet thing. I seen him doing the internet thing. But what he got to realize is that we looking at you crazy because all of this shit that you telling people and that you putting out there, you was there for. You can't talk no shit about nigga getting snuck and all of that shit. You was right there. A lot of the shit that's coming out now, you was standing right there when it happened. You co-signed the shit. You can't co-sign it, and then when the nigga stop missing the payments, not want to be part of the payment, you co-signed the shit. So, if the other niggas was yes men, you was a yes man too. You was taking on his beefs unnecessarily. I don't know how many lives I done had with Muslim Poppy talking about whatever the case may be when it comes to Easy to Black Captain, when y'all made that list and put Hollow Man up there, you would pop out of nowhere, like nut. Nigga, anytime it was an issue, anytime somebody said something, boom, you was the first nigga to pop up to defend him, right? Cool. Easy takes blame because you put this nigga in position. He didn't even know about battle rap. And you made him media, you put him on your platform, you put him in front of the camera, you gave this nigga the light, you know what I'm saying? You put him in front of that light, you got to deal with what comes out of that. So yeah, when um, they had the event with the Geechee battle versus Easy, I was there, I heard a lot about it. I heard that when Geechee pulled up, he pulled up with Philly niggas from the city and the niggas that were Easy, mainly Muslim poppy felt the way about it. Yo, these niggas that's from Philly, they shouldn't be with these niggas, wooty 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 woo. He on some WWF ready to crash out shit when he don't even realize in battle rap Niggas is pulling up with whoever. If, if Geechee pull up to the city and Easy didn't invite them Philly niggas to the ven venue and they didn't show up, I'm talking about the Battle Academy, obviously he wouldn't invite them. They cool with Geechee. These niggas is gonna pull up. He's giving them free tickets. He's showing them love. They landing in the city. They got business. They got rapport together. You see what I'm saying? So they gonna roll with him. Cause I tell you this, if I ain't have no ticket and my nigga call me, he's like, yo, I got three tickets, pull up with your guys, I'm pulling up. Nigga, you can't be mad at me for some tickets you didn't give me. You see what I'm saying? So. Uh, I'm, watching, I'm listening to the live and I'm like, yo, I can't believe this shit. So, Easy says, uh, he says he met him on the Bel Air set. He said, uh, he said, we introduced you to Battle Rap. You felt like you was entitled to the trenches. And Easy said, your girl was tripping because you was running around. He said, he don't include his friends in his personal business. You know what I'm saying? Business is friendship. Friendship is friendship. You know what I'm saying? And then a lot of the time, you really can't include. I See, this is the thing. Some of the shit that I, I, I definitely agree with. You can't always include your friends in business because sometimes when you include your friends in business, your friends don't have the same business or work ethic as you. You know what I'm saying? Or they're not putting in what you're putting in as far as money, resources, time, value, and you're the reason why these niggas is around. So when you're putting shit in like that, you can't include everybody. Everybody cannot go. I definitely agree with that. So you said that, um, let's talk about the $125 thing. The nigga said the $125 was over. Muslim Poppy basically showing up, he gets to the crib, he got five kids. Now, now here's what I want to say about that, my nigga. You got to pick and choose what you do when you got that many children, bro. You cannot be everywhere, every week, all the time, running around with a nigga, and you ain't bringing no money home. Because when you got multiple kids, when, when you are running around with this nigga, your girl going to have to do extra work, extra this, extra feedings, extra putting people to bed, all this shit. She's stressed out. So she gonna be looking at you like, nigga, if you running around gallivanting on stage with this nigga, you better be coming home with some ducats or fuck it. So I can't even blame his girl if she was mad about whatever that shit was about. Because listen, my nigga, you supposed to be getting bread. So 
Um, easy was on some zero in, zero out shit. You don't put no money in, you don't get no money out. Uh, he said, "You, I, I'm, I'm thinking, and I'm like, dude, how you mad that you a crash dummy? Like, Muslim pop, I need you to really think about it. You are literally on a media tour going to every platform because you were a crash dummy for a nigga. We don't feel so... We don't feel sorry for crash dummies, my nigga. You were a crash dummy. You got blinded by the light. It is what it is. I got no issue with you. I'm just saying it is what it is. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know what I'm saying? You treated, uh, and Easy kind of treated his friends like joints. I ain't even gonna hold you. kind of treated your friends like joints. You got niggas getting jealous of niggas because you taking niggas on a trip, and the one nigga couldn't go on the trip. So the next person mad, like, oh, why you ain't take me? You should have took me. That process, I met the criteria to be selected, but I was All that type of shit we don't need to be hearing about, bro. We do not, y'all think it, it sounds crazy, bro. I literally was listening to this, watching this live, and niggas is like, yo, I never ask niggas for change, and I look out for niggas, bro. If you gonna do it, you just do it. But it's like, you, I don't know, Easy seemed like he counting favors. It's real crazy, like, every, you remember every single thing he did for somebody. And for me, I don't want no friends. I ain't gonna say I don't want no friends. I don't wanna be around people that when we fall out, they gonna be like, yo, we went to BBQ's one time and the nigga left his card in the car. He ain't leave his card in the car. That nigga just ain't got no money. Like, I don't want that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, because the thing is, y'all, y'all, y'all re revealing and putting everything out there on the table just because y'all ain't cool no more. You know what I'm saying? I've literally worked and been with niggas who didn't want to get me get, have no money. Niggas was like, yo, you can work for me for free, but you can't get no bread. And I didn't even really tell the whole story that would make all these niggas look crazy. I just took what comes with it, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you got to take your positive and you got to make it a positive. Even if it's a negative, you take negative, make it a positive. You can't even think about trying to down or make the other niggas look bad. Muslim pop, he puts you in position, but the way he look at putting you in position is if I put you in position, I ain't got to pay you. Now, here's the thing. For easy, you got to realize, I put a nigga in position that I met in the mall, you know what I'm saying? I literally ran into this nigga in the mall. We met, we built a relationship. We cool. I've been around a nigga almost six, seven years now. I have to pay him. I've been paying him since day one though. Because I've been around, I just said, I've been around niggas who didn't want to pay me before and I knew how it felt to come home, not have no bread, and they looking at you on, on pay-per-view. And you ain't got no money. They looking at you you're on fucking Uncle Rob, 15 minutes of fame, you ain't getting no money. You know what I'm saying? So that was always my thing. I told niggas in the beginning, yo, I gotta get paid. Niggas didn't want me to get paid and then when I, it was what it was. So now I'm here doing my thing and when I do my thing, I always make sure that even if it's a lot, a little, because my thing is this, if you would have always been hooking them up, if you would have just threw them a little 125 or 150 for the pay-per-view, a nigga will understand. But if that's the introductory rate, like yo, bam! Of course you gonna look some type of way. I give it, you give a joint 125. Yo, get the Uber, pick up a bottle, and I see you at the telly. You know what? You shot the nigga 125 like he was a joint, so you can't you can't do your man like that. Let's keep on going. So you were saying that the nigga was going out of town with no bread, shouldn't be, that shouldn't be out there. You're saying you put the hotels in your car, that shouldn't be out there. Um, you wanted him to pick a side. This battle rap shit is weird, son, because it's like, the pick a side, pick a side, pick a side. It's like, bro, this shit is battle rap. I don't really have time to be doing all this extra shit. I can't be cool with this person because you got to be cool with that person. Can't be doing this and that and the third. So, at the end of the day, let's just do it like this. Easy side was crazy as hell. He was yelling. He was going in on Muslim Poppy, basically saying that the nigga was an opportunist, but he came through. And I ain't gonna lie, Easy, you kind of promoted the nigga too quick. He went from fucking shift, working on shift, to store manager in like a month. The nigga, he superseded everybody. So that's kind of the reason why he felt that way, but he said he wasn't making no bread. What's a Harlem nigga with no bread? What's a Harlem nigga with no bread? All right, so. Before I get to, uh, you know, Muslim Poppy's part of the Crash Out Chronicles, you know what I'm saying? I just think that this whole shit went way left. Uh, they, got in, they got way too entrenched with a lot of shit. And now, you know what I'm saying, they, they sitting here both looking at each other like, you the op, you the op, you the op. And they're going to releasing and talking about people, you know what I'm saying? Talking about who did what for who. And if you look at the situation, it's kind of crazy because Easy was ops or is ops with the uh, Battle Academy. Then every time they would have beef, Muslim Poppy be on the live with him. Easy felt some way about that. And I ain't gonna hold you the way Easy kind of move and the way he kind of seems. It's like if you with him, you gotta be two thousand percent with him. You know what I'm saying? Like everything, like the niggas that be with him, they gotta say he won. They gotta do all that shit. That's why when the niggas was trying to say, oh, Vada was recording order, I'm like, do y'all niggas really think? Do y'all think that I was involved with some shit like that? 
I didn't even have the nigga number. So when the when them lying ass niggas said it, I was kind of shocked. Like, damn, this the play that they and they they ran with it. Good thing y'all ain't believe it though. So shout out to every single one of y'all. And uh, it is what it is. But yeah, ease man, uh, this was really really crunchy, man. A lot of shit was said that y'all could have kept between each other. But I understand you was mad at him. He's mad at you. And then it leads to his version of what the Crash Out Chronicles. I don't know who sponsors you, but welcome to the Crash Out Chronicles. So I've been watching and seeing what's been going on between Easy the Black Captain and his dog Muslim Poppy, aka Haas Hassan Philly. And I was watching this live that Haas just made with Mac Mel. Shout out to Mac Mel. Mac Mel is one of the grittiest, rawest Instagram personalities. You know, he's on Instagram, he's doing his interviews. A lot of people do interviews on Instagram. Caps does his over there. Shout out to Caps. I love the way he handled his week and everything that's been going on in it. All of the jokes. He took everything like a fucking gangster. If y'all see that nigga or y'all hear his comments, let him know. Salute to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. Shit happens in life. I love the media tour, everything that he's got going on. I'm going to talk to him sooner or later, too. You know what I'm saying? I love what Caps does. I crack my jokes on you, but I definitely salute. Debo, you are clearly taking the L in this situation. You snuck the nigga. You didn't offer him a fade. It's wild. So Caps went on a media tour. He's bugging and thugging. He got shit back going again. And he's going back and forth with niggas, you know what I'm saying, and cracking jokes. So I got to salute that, you know what I'm saying? That's just some shit he's going to put on him, and he's going to move, you know what I'm saying? My nigga going to weather the storm. Shout out to Caps. Dra, 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 dra. Let's get to this shit. So, yo, this is the Crash Out Chronicles, son. And I might have to film this in a couple of parts because... I'm watching the video, got like 15 minutes in and I had to stop, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, yo, wait, 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 Cause I wanna get this all right, you know what I'm saying? I wanna make sure that, you know what I'm saying? I ain't picking no side in this, I ain't got no side in this. Shout out to Easy and everything that he do, the trenches, Haas, all them niggas, you know what I'm saying? I remember a point where niggas thought we was cool to the point where I was recording the nigga phone calls and I didn't even have a nigga number. I didn't get Easy's number till like a day or two before that trenches event that I hosted and we spoke and I said I'll host it and I did it for the love just because, you know what I'm saying, to show love to the city and me and SP, we got that shit popping woo -dee -woo, -dee woo And the thing is, I don't get too close to battle rappers because the thing is, at the end of the day, if you didn't grow up with these people in this game, y'all are not friends, you know what I'm saying? The only real person I consider my friend, 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 friend is Showtime SP. We met, we built a relationship, I've been around him almost six, seven years, he knows where I live, he knows my family, he knows my kids, I know his kids, I know his family, so boom, you know what I'm saying, people like that. Other than that, Ain't no friends in this game because at the end of the day, remember what I said, hold on. You are only useful as long as you can be used. Once you are not able to be used no more, you become useless. Fellas, ladies, gentlemen, listen to what the fuck I'm saying. Ain't nobody in the world gonna say this shit like I am. Nobody. You are only useless as long as you can be used to most people, then you become useless. They don't need you anymore. You are in it for a game. I am watching this video and I'm literally hearing Haas, Muslim Poppy, who's known in Philly. He's been around Philly for years and years doing skits, things like that. He's got a name. Saying that he met Easy the Black Captain through a fucking DM. You DM this nigga. Why? Because he was cooking. So, when you say, and it's both, it's wrong on both sides. You know what I'm saying? When you say that you wasn't cloud chasing, you didn't know him, my nigga, you DM'd him for an opportunity because you saw him cooking. I don't care if you got 50,000 followers on Instagram. I don't care how many followers you had on Instagram at the time. You saw him cooking, you got with him, right? You say he can't do nothing with you, battle rap, battle rap, battle rap. Listen, somebody that's bubbling in battle rap could do a lot for somebody, you know what I'm saying? They could literally take somebody off the street, help them get their shit together, build them up, and make them a household name. My brother Showtime SP, I met this nigga in the fucking mall, literally in the mall, walking by the nigga, had a conversation with him, built a relationship, and now he is a household name. This nigga's on TV. So you can't tell me you can't get, you can't benefit. And now he's done a lot. This is my brother, like my dog. I'm not saying, and I would never, I'm just giving you a scenario. That nigga built his name. He is who he is. I make sure he's involved with everything. He's not, I'm not doing nothing unless he's involved. Unless it's like little videos like this, but shit like that. But business-wise, you see me and him on a flyer. You see us together. I don't get booked by myself. You get both of us because you, I helped create, build, establish, and make a brand in this individual. Now he's making his own money. You know what I'm saying? Now you see us both together. So, let's go back. So, you met him on the gram, y'all built a relationship, right? And y'all start rolling with each other. You the muscle, you know what I'm saying? You the muscle, that's what you are, you the muscle. Yeah, the star can't have it with him. Star can't keep it on him. 
Star might not be able to let it go. You gotta have a muscle with you. The muscle is the nigga behind the hustle. The muscle might have to crash out. The muscle might have to punch a nigga in the face. The muscle might have to take a charge. The muscle might have to bust his gun, but he know all that when he sign up for it. That's what the muscle do. That shit happens in the streets, it happens in rap, it happens in corporate America, that shit happens everywhere. The muscle is the muscle. But the thing about the muscle is the muscle gotta eat. The muscle gotta be respected, the muscle gotta be fed. Because when you don't feed the wolves, guess what the wolves do? The wolves turn you into the food. So, follow me here, I'm watching this shit, right? So, Muslim Poppy was the muscle, everybody knew that shit, he was everywhere with him. Everywhere Easy went, this nigga was in the fucking background. Every situation that he had, he was with you. You were together. Y'all were together the night when the shit happened up in New York. You, I seen you admit to the shit. And, and the thing is, in the beginning, nobody really knew, but niggas started hearing shit, so we kind of like heard about it, and niggas kind of like knew about it. And I get the whole, when you answer one question, it lead to 50,000 more questions and shit like that, and I ain't really in people's personal relationship. But the way y'all kind of handled that situation was crazy, and Muslim Poppy, you knew about the lies, or you knew about what had happened. So I look at it like this. Y'all was together. Now that y'all not rocking with each other, you know what I'm saying? Y'all are releasing everything about each other. He's in the joint talking about uh, going to football games and y'all traveling together, y'all personal shit and going to each other's houses and you talking about you can release the DMs. Bro, y'all niggas can't just go y'all separate ways amicably? <laughs> I, I don't understand, this shit is crazy. The thing is, y'all are feeding into what everybody's around y'all is telling y'all. I see Easy got a, he, he preparing to go live tonight. Uh, Muslim Poppy, is this what you want? Or whatever the case may be. I don't know what he's gonna talk about. But what I'm telling you is in this live that I'm watching between uh, Mag Mel and Muslim Poppy, he said a lot of things. He said, uh, he said that he was the shooter. He said, you know, um, he said he went to the internet. They call each other by real names. He said, nothing you could do for me. There's really no friends in battle rap. Uh, he was talking about he was outside with the man for, bro, he was outside with two guns on you for a nigga that you met on Instagram. You got to think about that shit. <laughs> you got to think about that shit. I, I fuck with you, too. When I see you, I say what up, easy, the same thing. You know what I'm saying? You had two guns on you, downtown Philadelphia, for a nigga that you met on Instagram, <laughs> you got, you cannot be, you cannot be that gullible, my nigga. I'm sorry, it cannot, it, you, it ain't no fucking way, bro. It ain't no goddamn way. For battle rap, no. And then, you know, my thing is, y'all keep going on, and you saying about his friends from 15 years ago. We all know, see, the thing is, y'all can act like y'all wasn't like that, or y'all, y'all, y'all. Bro, y'all niggas was together like this, bro. Y'all was everywhere together. We saw him, we saw you, we saw you, we saw him. That's how that shit was, you know what I'm saying? So to see that y'all are really doing this much on the breakup tour, like Muslim Poppy, you done did like three or four or five interviews already, my nigga. And then you tweet. Remember when you originally tweeted that, yo, from this day forward, you're not gonna see me with Gutter City no more, yada, yada, yada. How did that reaction go? Niggas was just like, yo, we don't care. Like, it doesn't matter, like, you didn't have to announce that because at the end of the day, most of us in battle rap have been here for five, six, seven, eight, nine years. They niggas have been here, had ups, downs, left, right. We done been here. We saw you like the last two years, my nigga. You just got here. So, when y'all niggas fall out, it's like, what the fuck? So, I'm gonna keep watching this video and I'll be back. But so far, about halfway through it, absolutely not. Y'all niggas both got wrongs in this shit. You know what I'm saying? I heard about the $125 shit. I don't know how true it is, but I heard from some pretty good sources that the nigga wanted to pay you $125 to host the pay per view. Listen. Don't take $125 to post no because there's no motherfucking pay per view. Now, that's a nigga who's hosted a lot of pay per views. I'm not taking $125 to host the pay-per-view. Now, with the $125 shit, the shit is crazy because the thing is at the end of the day, a lot of people that do pay-per-view and do pay-per-view commentary do it for free. A lot of them do it for free. Have I done it for free once? Yeah, I've done it for free. But do I do it for free? Absolutely not. Because my thing is this, your time, your effort, you being there and all of that, you should get paid for it. Honestly, if you're in that position, you should easily be making over a band or two to host a whole live stream pay-per-view. If not, I won't, uh, me, me easy, I'm not, oh, oh, I won't even do it for, for the, uh, no more. But, cause my thing is my time is worth it. If I gotta get on a plane, fly across the country, take time away from my kids, my family, SP has a job, he's gotta take off work, that shit cost, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to everybody who will do it for free. I just don't do it for free. And I don't even, I, but the thing is, about battle rap events in general, 
I don't go to no battle rap events that I have no part of. I hear all these blogger lists, and this is the hit list, and this person's gonna get hit next. Listen, when I go to events, it's part of a business. It's business. It's a contract. I'm there for a reason. I'm here for this time. I'm arriving at this time. I'm gonna be here. I don't just go hang out. That's the reason why. Like, so, why, so anything can happen to anyone, but it's less than likely when you're there for business. I don't be just gallivanting, hanging out with niggas because I just don't do that shit. I never done it. That's not the type of nigga I am. So I'm not worried about none of that. You know what I'm saying? And we're always prepared for wherever we go. Now, um, so yeah, I, I'm watching this video and it's like, you know, was you down with him for a purpose as your man or was you just being opportunistic and now that the shit is not going your way, you on a media tour and y'all are talking about everything. He's talking, I saw his live yesterday. He's talking about he paid for flights and had you in a suite and you was at the game. Bro, if, 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 if a nigga gotta tell everything that happened when we was cool, we don't need to be cool. Because once we not cool no more, well, there's this thing called friends don't count favors. If that's your man, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna tell you every single favor I done did for a nigga. I done helped niggas with a lot of shit. But there may have been times in my life when I needed help, you know what I'm saying? But as friends, we're not really gonna count favors and it's a lot of favorite counting. Part two of the Crash Out Chronicles, the $125 ball, the do ball. Shout out to Muslim Poppy and Easy. This is starting to get a little crazy. So I watched the first half and I got to like this part right here, bro. They basically falling out because Muslim Poppy wanted an opportunity to make his own money. I've had this happen to me before. This definitely happens in battle rap. I hit P, you know, P was saying I couldn't record on my own channel, you know what I'm saying? The nerve of you. <laughs> but you That's know, like disrespect. That's saying back in the war report days, you know, they be doing that manipulative shit forever. You can't record on your own channel. You either got to record here or you can't record nowhere. Back then I didn't even have a house. I have a house now. I had one car, I got three cars now. Sometimes you just gotta make your own investment because these niggas will put you under the wing and they will fuck you over as long as possible. So that's enough about me personally, but I definitely fell out with niggas about money. And it's not even about them paying you, it's about you getting the opportunity to make your own money. See, the thing is, in Battle Rap, they love the clicky clicky. You just hang out, be around, give you some free tickets and rock you to sleep type shit. When you wanna make your own money and stop making money for other people, it becomes a huge issue. I verbally remember being on the phone and being told, we have a plan to get rid of you. And like, nigga, what made you the nigga to jump out the window and just get the... <laughs> I'm so flabbergasted, bro. <laughs> I am flab... I am flabbergasted, bro. I'm flabbergasted, bro. Oh, God. I'm so confused, bro. These niggas got me fucked up. I swear to God, like, I, I don't say much about it because it's wild and look where I'm at now, so it's really nothing much to talk about. But niggas will definitely try to make you disappear or not fuck with you if you don't want to work for free. Battle rap is that community. It is literally that community. I was told, you can't record on your own channel. I said, fuck you, I got 80,000 and I'll just do my own thing. I'd rather you think whatever you think negatively of me to know that I make my own money and ask Showtime SP has he ever been here one month without getting paid. You know what I'm saying? This is this is monumental, you know what I'm saying? Like being a part of such a part of history, this means a lot, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody out there in facts who've been asking for us to do something like this for years. You know what I'm saying? It might have took the long way, but it wasn't the wrong way. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, right. We're just gonna keep this thing moving. Hard terms. Hard terms. <laughs> our, our way. You know what I'm saying? Our, our way, way, our world, you know what I mean? Shout out to ARP, Rare Breed Entertainment. You know, that's like Family, you know what I'm saying? Big movement, big shoot, big show today. I'm in it for Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? We, 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 we heavy Atlanta. We in Atlanta. Right? We in Atlanta. Heavy Atlanta. We in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Gang, gang. So, you know what it is. Shout out. Yeah, yeah. We appreciate it. Shout out, too. Reason why I do so much for SP, and I'll just put him in it as personally, because I got done dirty, you know what I'm saying? Niggas never paid me a dime. I, never, I know the shit that Muslim went through. I know what it's like firsthand, cause I did the same thing. I never made a single dollar in battle rap till I made it on my own. They won't pay you. They will let you be used for years. So like I said in the beginning, you're only useful as long as you can be used, then you become useless, right? So I, I took some more notes about the part two of the, of the Crash Out Chronicles, right? 
This nigga Muslim Poppy said he was hosting, doing commentary, picking up flyers, being security, doing media, judging battles, doing social media. <laughs> he had to get plane tickets. You was the chef. You was picking up the food. You didn't make no money. Oh my God, you was the do boy. That was the name. You was the do boy. That nigga had you doing everything. And to only pay you $125 is kind of crazy. I did host the Trenches event. I did it for the love though, you know what I'm saying? SP wanted a home event and the Trenches event was coming up. I hadn't spoke to Easy in a while. So I knew that I wasn't going, you know what I'm saying? We just did it for the love, you know what I mean? But every other event that I've done, I've been paid, you know what I'm saying? But that was for the love, I didn't expect nothing, so I don't have no qualms with that because it's just give back, you know what I'm saying? Even Kobe Bryant, Kevin Durant played at the Rucker. At this point, I had did like every major pay-per-view of the year. This was a big one. It had Easy vs. John John with the 25,000 on the floor. I wanted to be there. The shit was less than an hour from the crib. Choo, 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 choo. And this is what we do anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? We got to meet people and see people we never saw before. So for me, sometimes it's good to be like, yo, I did this. but. With the level of what Muslim Poppy had going on, my nigga, you was doing, and then you said, you said some shit that, this, this is the reason why I'm doing the Crash Out Chronicles, because a lot of niggas want to know, what, how did we get to this point here? Bro, you say you have five kids, one, two, three, four, five kids, I don't even have five kids. There is nothing you should be doing, listen to what I'm saying, nothing you should be doing that involves you not benefiting them. Especially in battle rap. When it comes to battle rap, bro, I don't leave my crib unless it's beneficial. I'm not going to host no events. I'm not pulling up at no events. I'm not doing none of that shit. Now, if you plan to do something for the love, a one-time deal, I'm going to come show love, I do it, bam. You know that. But, bro, you traveling everywhere with this nigga. You at bars on I-95. You at the Remy event. I'm like, oh. <laughs> the place, and you're not getting paid? Like, bro, ain't no fucking way. Ain't no way. You should, you y'all should have cut that off from a while ago. And you shouldn't even have to approach him. Because the thing is, if Easy was paying you, he could easily come out and say, "Yo, bam, I ain't never paid you." Do, 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 do. That's like if somebody came out and said, "I never paid. I never paid you." Bam, 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 bam. They look crazy because I just post the shit and the transactions just just be running here. I never paid you. When did I never pay you? You know what I'm saying? So nobody can't come to me like that. But the reason why I pay niggas around me is because I know how it feels to not be paid. You know what I'm saying? I know how it feels to be able to make money off of what you're doing and not pay you. The shit is whack. I ain't gonna hold you. It, it definitely is. But the shit that I see you say, <laughs> dog. So you was talking about the, uh, the the Warren Sapp shit. Said Warren Sapp, you know what I'm saying? It was about to get into an issue. You said you paid for everything. Said one hand washed the other. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But the flights, the security, the bars on I-95, you're doing all of this work and you're not getting paid money? See, that's the thing, everything should be agreed upon or y'all should have some kind of some kind of agreement. When I go places, the people that go with me, I know. So for instance, when y'all talking about Airbnbs and all that shit, I just take it, you know what I'm saying? If I know that I'm the head guy, I just take that. I don't go to my guys and be like, yo, you gotta pay for this, you gotta pay for that. But that's me though. Everybody's different, you know what I'm saying? So, from what I'm seeing now is the first part was what it was. This second part, he's highlighting the fact that he only got paid $125 to host an event. $125 is nowhere. Now, Muslim Poppy's not. He became media without really being media. You know what I'm saying? Because he's never really done media. He's not a blogger. He, he came from another world into this world, got placed here, kind of like a plant. Not in a plant in a negative sense, but he was planted into the trenches to host and be a face of the brand, and he ain't really got no battle rap experience. You know what I'm saying? He really he met this nigga on Instagram. Remember what I said in the beginning? So, it's kind of like this. Easy used you, you used him, y'all used each other, and now the using is gone, so everybody's just gonna talk about shit. $125 is flagrant. I don't know where that number came from or where that price came from, but $125 is out of here. You know what I'm saying? That's not the rate. I'm not hosting no event for $125. I ain't hosting no event for. I wouldn't even host an event for. dollars nowadays I wouldn't you know what I'm saying because of, I mean but that's just my personal opinion you know what I'm saying like I, I feel like I know what I bring and I know where I'm at so you know if you don't want us to do it and trust me we've had this before with many leagues they can't afford it they'll call you they figure out how much you cost next thing you know the pay-per-view started either no commentary is there or someone else is there or someone that costs way less than you and I don't ever feel no way you know what I'm saying my price is based upon what I can do not your budget remember what I said y'all this is for everyone. 
So, Muslim is doing a lot of shit. He's running around for easy. And in the background, we're hearing everything. Like, everybody's saying, yo, he's running around for him. He, 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 he crashed and now he got the blicky. He's willing to go into all of this static for a nigga that you met on Instagram. I, I cannot shake that shit yet. So, uh, again, you gotta keep your ooters paid. The nigga who's willing to pick up a gun and let it go for you has to be taken care of. You know what I'm saying? When I go to events, I don't be on no solo dolo shit, but I'm not gonna tell you who I'm with. I'm definitely never by myself. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but them niggas gotta be taken care of. They gotta get in. You might have to pick up a tab for niggas to eat. You might have to pick up an extra baggage fee at the airport. You might have to cop the bud. You just know it's called the cost of war. You know what I'm saying? That's the good thing. I was in the military all them years. Niggas be acting like they don't know. So the cost of war, you gotta supply the troops. That's the number one rule of the military. You got to supply the troops. I'm not gonna have my troops out there following me, running around with me, some shit pop off, they fighting for me, all kind of shit, and they ain't getting fed. You know what I'm saying? You gotta feed the wolves or the wolves will become the prey. Now I'm sure he's gonna have his own version of the story, and I'm sure niggas will talk about it. But the Crash Out Chronicles, volume one, like the first issue, is crazy. I said, what the hell? I did not, Lord Jesus, I didn't know it was like this. What happened to that boy? What happened to that boy? Yeah. What happened to that boy?